So in this video, we're comparing the software from GoPro and from Insta360, primarily for 360 footage, but we are gonna to touch on normal field of view footage because both of these companies make cameras for both markets. Now, this is not me hitting on one company or the other, but there is a clear winner, especially when it comes to editing 360 footage with your camera. When it comes to the editing of normal field of view cameras, then similar, but Insta360 still really lead the way when it comes to editing in the app and the desktop studio and we're gonna sort of talk on both of those subjects today now like I said massive fan of both of these companies I've been using GoPro since the GoPro Hero 1 this is the Hero 1 Plus Hero 1 Black um, I've had every one of their cameras up all the way to the 12 uh, apart from the 8 the 8 was a mistake so we didn't get that camera uh, Insta360 I've been working with for a couple of years now they're a massive supporter of this channel so thank you Insta360 for that it really does help when it comes to using these cameras on a daily basis if you own any of these cameras you'll know how good the Insta360 app is and you will know how sort of sometimes frustrating the GoPro app is so I really do hope GoPro improve their software when it comes to the new cameras moving forward we are rumored to see a GoPro Max 2 at some point but we really need the software to be up to that sort of standard so we can get the most out of the new camera so hopefully they'll implement that this year with the new cameras okay so let me just take a look at the GoPro app first of all because while it's simple and easy to use it's quite limited on the stuff that you can do on it and they require you to have a $99 subscription now to have that premium GoPro thing so you can get the most out of it and you can access those advanced features which with Insta360 it costs nothing the app is free and it's better so you know you can see the theme of this video we are in here we this is where you connect your cameras you can connect all the different cameras on here you uh, go back I've got the GoPro Max connected at the moment and then if we go to albums first of all you can organize your albums uh, you've got media which is where your app is your cloud media and your phone media I'm not sure not sure why you'd want your phone media on there that's something that I don't like about it in all honesty the other thing I did notice when I came to edit the 360 footage if you want to make the most of their AI edit feature if you select all of their clips here and you go to make an edit currently photo burst 360 media and files over four gigabytes aren't supported at this time so the GoPro has been out five years so we still can't get support for 360 media you know so that's one of the first things when it comes to the studio we know we can't use my edits with the 360 footage if you've got standard field of view footage you can so you can connect the GoPro 12 here and the AI does like a montage for you if you like uh, there are different suggestions this is all my phone footage so I don't want that in there you can create an edit but you've only got the uh, the uh, sort of standard field of view stuff here and the 360 footage you've already edited in the file here so if you have to pre-edit your 360 footage and then you can put it into an edit so you know there's that option as well and that's you know pretty much it you can control the camera from here you can upload it to the cloud you can do all sort of other things on here but apart from that that's how limited the thing is so um, to access the other premium features it is like I mentioned a $99 a year subscription and with Insta360 you don't have any subscription so that's what just really frustrates me when it comes to that so if I turn on the X4 you can I'll show you how easy it is to connect to the Insta360 app and the stuff you can do on there when we're in here you've got explore which gives you all the different things that people have shot with their Insta360 some inspiration for you you've got tutorials you've got activities you can go and look at that are in here so you can do like apply different challenges there's different wallpapers and stuff you can download which is cool uh, then you've got all your media in here which is all the 360 footage that I've uh, recorded recently on the Insta360 X4 photos videos standard video blah 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 me mode and that sort of stuff so you can go in there then you can go into edit so we go into create a video you can select that clip go over there and then in here you've got sort of a layers tab that you'd be familiar if you've used any kind of editing software in the past so you can add music add text add stickers add effects all the different reframe options are down below so you've got multi-view you've got motion md you can add different speed ramps and stuff like that to your footage it's easy to add um, a different bit of footage if you want to so you can add another 
thing in here if you want to. So we want to reframe the original clip. Um, you've got viewfinder mode, deep track as well. So you can add keyframes just like you would. So you press a keyframe there and you can move it around left and right, or we can drag it on the screen up and down and then press update keyframe. And then if you move along, you can press another keyframe, move it around like so, zoom out if you want to, and then update keyframe. And then when you play it back, you'll see that it moves moves around in the way that you've added the keyframes. So you've got that option. You've also got auto edit, which actually does auto edit the 360 footage for you. So it analyzes the footage now, and then it will create an auto edit of the footage that you've downloaded, 360 footage as well, unlike the GoPro app, which doesn't auto edit the 360 footage yet, which is unfortunate. So it takes a, a while to analyze it. We'll go for like a, a fast rhythm. This is the edit that it creates for you. Three sixty auto edited. It's as simple as that. You've got different templates down here that you can change it to as well. So you can see how cool that is. There's loads of different things. You can like change the music as well. All this music is copyright free and included with the app for free, which is great. And then you can. Uh, export it if you want to. So that's a great way of auto editing your 360 footage without having to go through it. You can just let the app do it for you, which is great. Then you've got Shot Lab, which is all the different effects. You've got AI Warp, Sky Swap, AI Selfie Stick Eraser, Electric Surge. There's loads and loads of different ones. All you do is look, click on one and it will give you a sort of step-by-step -step guide on how to do that and a little um, explanation on how to do it, a little video. Also, you can just click use theme then. Choose the uh, clip that you want to add this effect to and it does it straight in the application for you. But if you go in here, we go to standard videos as well and we click on this one. This is where you can sort of add the different things. There's three different modes within the actual normal edit feature as well. There's pro mode, which is adding the keyframes yourself and not doing it all manually. There's quick edit, which now you can actually use a joystick to move around the footage like so. This is a new feature. Or you can use the phone's gyroscope to move left and right like that or you've got AI edit within these. So this is where you edit the individual uh, videos rather than just going to the auto edit and selecting the clips. So you can do an AI edit on individual clips as well. Then you can add those to an auto edit as well if you want to afterwards. So there's loads and loads of different ways to edit your footage. I'm going to do a full video on those three new ways to edit your 360 footage. So if you're new to the channel, please do make sure you subscribe and press the bell so you don't miss that future upload coming really soon. It really is great. I fully recommend it. Let's jump over to the desktop studio to show you what Insta360 have done recently with a new studio update 5.0. So GoPro have just introduced a desktop GoPro quick app so you can edit on desktop now. Um, but again, it's pretty simple and to get the most out of it, you need that $99 subscription, which again, is just a bit frustrating. Um, so what I'm gonna do is you can go, it's pretty much the same as the app, so you have to go to the edit. You can do AI edits, but again, you have to edit the footage first, import it. Again, premium plus subscription is needed to get the most out of this, so your $99 subscription is needed. But when we get to open media, I'm gonna go to here and I'm gonna open the GoPro media. If I select all of this media, that I want to upload and edit. When you open it, it does this. And this is the first thing that you'll see. It opens all these different windows. I'm not sure what LRV files are. Somebody can tell me in the comments down below. But you've got all of these files open. I don't want them all open. I just wanted some kind of system where I can edit the footage without having to do all this. It's really, really frustrating every time that I do it. Um, so, I mean, to another thing I don't like about it is when you're sort of editing 360 footage, you're dragging around. It's just easy enough on the screen. We can use a mouse to zoom out a little bit. You have to, when you drag, drag it left to right, there's no sort of horizon lock. You can put horizon level on, but you have to sort of press, every time you change it around, you have to press sort of command L to level it out. Again, it's pretty much the same. You drag it along, you press a keyframe. These are keyframes I had before. And then when you move the footage, you go through the keyframes and it keeps everything in, uh, sort of in the center, sort of. You can add different uh, easing options. You can add motion blur. So there are other options there, but this is, 
this is pretty much it. You can change the ratios and everything here, export it, um, but it just annoys me that you have to add all these, um, you have to have all these files open, all the different windows open to edit your footage. It's just, yeah, it's just annoying. To start, this is Insta360's footage, so you can edit the footage normally. So you've got all your clips on the left-hand side, you can drag it around on the screen. Keeps everything level, horizon level, unlike the GoPro uh, footage, uh, which I'll show you in just a second. You can add keyframes along here. This is the basic editing of the 360 footage. It's so easy to do. Uh, you've got all the different things, flow state, stitching lines there, and then you can add a uh, body stitching option. Uh, oh, you've got thermo grip cover, which is new on the X4, uh, and then image processing options and stuff. But then we've got project, which is the new thing over on the project folder. So here we are inside of the project folder, and then you've got all these different files. These are all the files that you've uploaded, and you can drag these down uh, to the timeline, just like a normal editing software, which is great. And then all the keyframes that you've added from the previous page are on here as well, so that's good. And then you can add music, there's uh, in here, all copyright music on here as well, which you can download. You've got text, and it's not just normal text, there's loads of different animated text things that you can put over your video, which is great. So you've got all these animated titles, different ones, hot, uh, time, ones for holiday, ones for travel, and all these are free as well, included with the software. Then you've got a bunch of transitions as well, which are also free included with the software. So yeah, you've got all these transitions as well. You can drag in between the clips, and then if you wanna add a bit of music, we're gonna download the music, we can drag that down underneath there as well to add the music and then if you want a title on top of it you can drag this one on top of there like that for titles it's it's just really good really easy there's a bunch of features and then it's just pretty much like you know if you've used final cut pro or premiere pro in the past you've got um you've got pretty much the same sort of system and then you can export it so that is the insta 360 software the desktop studio a lot more advanced than the GoPro and free. So that's my take on the app and the desktop studio with GoPro and Insta360. Using these cameras on a daily basis, like I have done for many years now, Insta360 have really got the software down. It really does work. It makes using the cameras easier, more enjoyable, more fun, more creative. So that's why when it comes to leaving the house, I always choose the X4 over the Max, and I tend to choose the Ace Pro over the GoPro 12, just because the software makes everything more seamless and easy to use and fun and creative. It really is great. Okay, that's it for this one. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.